All right, so over the next few videos, we want to go ahead and essentially customize the chassis and view project that we have. So if we go into chassis and view the test, Oh, I misspelled this, so it would be um, shared CDN. There we go. We want to go ahead and essentially create our own mini starter pack with shared CN here for view. So this is like a, um, a small series. We just we're not going to be doing anything special. We're not going to add anything in that's quite extraordinary or anything like that, like um, SAS data kit or anything like that. We're just going to replace the components in this application with ChatCN and see how that works out in case you're wondering about it. Some of this would be quite basic and this is aimed at a beginner level for this course, but I thought it would be nice to just show you how I would do it and how we can essentially go ahead and proceed. So first and foremost, let's head in here. We want to go ahead and we want to make sure we have input. We want to add that. If you haven't already, so make sure you go ahead and add it. This has already been there. We don't have to override it, but just to make sure you want to add input and label. Um, outside of that, the other thing I want to go ahead and add in this case is um, the avatar, in case we need to use that. We also, in this case, want to go ahead and add in um, the toast so we can send notifications out. For this, we need to go ahead inside our app layout and we need to just have, I can have it up here. So go ahead and import it. And for positioning, we could actually go ahead and control that, for example. Um, so in this case, for this to work out, you can see in here that we um, added into this bit here. But I think if we go ahead, we can change the position in the documentation. Yes, if you take a look in here, you can see we have different ones in here. We can have with action. So we can take a look at this API reference here. You can change the swipe direction as well. So if you didn't know that this is built on top of Radix view, so that's why we've been taken to a different page. So in here we can essentially, um, essentially go ahead and take a look inside the toast component. Let's look inside toaster. And you can see in here that we have a toast provider. We don't go ahead and iterate through them. We have a toast viewport. And we have the title and everything else related for the toast. A toast provider in this case goes ahead and takes the right direction, the right threshold, duration, and the label. But the other thing I want to go ahead and do now is we can head into our off page here. So we've already gone ahead and replaced that here, but we want to tidy up everything. So down here, we're using the button, which is perfect. For the register page, however, we are using the old one. So we want to go ahead and make sure we say label.
password. Email. And we're going to go ahead and also add in the name here. We're going to make sure we use input in here. I'm also going to show you how we can use and implement the sidebar throughout this course. This will be quite a short one, so there won't be many videos going over everything. We're going to go ahead and have the button here. Um, and we want to use label here instead of input label. So now we can get rid of these. Let's make sure we also run npm run dev. There we go. And you can now see that we have everything in here working. So because we're using Jetstream, we want to go ahead and essentially and go into Jetstream.php. Now, we're going to be going in and customizing the API the checkbox here and also allow profile photos. So you can see now we have this checkbox here. This doesn't really fit in with the styling. So I want to go ahead essentially now and add that in. And we want to go ahead and replace this with a checkbox but let's go ahead and just make sure we are getting components UI checkbox There we go. So that's now implemented. If we go ahead and register an account, still works, which is brilliant. That's what we want to see. So now inside app layout, we are in this case showing the profile photo. But what we want to actually do in here is have the avatar component. So if we take a look, we can even have a fallback image here. But for now, we don't really need to add the fallback one. We could um, leave that out for now, but you can go ahead and add it in if you want to. Then we can just go ahead and essentially grab the page props of user profile photo URL. All text in here can in this case be profile photo of page props of user name. Currently this doesn't seem to be working out properly. So let's take a look in here. So the image is loaded in here. But for some reason, it goes to the fallback image instead. So that's a bit weird. So let's take a look.
Let's make sure we import the toaster correctly in here as well. We need the avatar image, that's why it's not properly loading in here. There we go. So now we have the option to have the avatar profile photo shown there. The next video we're gonna start working on adding all these in here. There's a lot of repetition in this and again I'm also gonna go ahead and show you how to at the end of this series implement using the chat studio and UI. We're gonna use the pin one for two factor authentication. So then it will go ahead and allow you to enter that instead of having to just have a checkbox that looks a bit nicer. Just basically improving the UI a little bit. Some of it will be repetition, some of it will be a little bit of improvements, but it's just showing you how you can implement it into your application. Thank you very much for watching it. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.